Rockin' hybrid rhythm in A. Hybrid, as in you're playing this pick and finger, the hybrid grip. You're playing your wound strings with your pick, and you're going to pluck your treble notes with your fingers. And when I say pluck, I do mean pluck, as in you can you can make them pop a little for this kind of thing, because it's inspired by James Burton. And James Burton, after all, is the granddaddy of chicken picking. Now what we're doing in A is we're playing an open A chord and we're going to play something that's based on a root fifth root octave fifth bass line but we're changing it around we're going to play root fifth and then we're going to play on that lower one we're going to play a chromatic line that goes from the flat seventh to the major seventh to the root so you get that rolling motion and in slow-mo the figure I'm playing is if I speed it up it goes like this you can replace this motion that chromatic seventh to, to seventh, flat seventh to major seventh, you can just bend into that as well to get to the A. So you, instead of doing this, you can do like this. And then you get... Now on the four chord, on the D chord, you're making, you're really playing the exact same thing. You're playing an open D chord. And it's okay to let those strings ring. And that's that's the beauty of, of these parts, is that you have those pluckier ringing uh, high notes in the very percussive bass going on. And it's back to the one chord. Now for the five chord, I played played a neat little trick that goes back in a straight line to James Burton. And it involves an interval that's in a in a dominant seventh chord. It's called the tritone, and it's this. It's the third and the seventh of the chord. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna the lowest note I'm playing on my D string on the sixth fret is gonna be part of my bass line. So I'm really only playing three notes. I'm playing an open E note on the bass which is obviously the root of my chord. Then I'm playing that tritone on top. And part of my melody notes, really, are going to be my bass. So I'm going to... My bass pattern is going to be this. Then I'm going to pull and twist a little bit so I get that tritone to moan a little bit for me. And my lick on the five chord is going to be this. back to the one now the second 12 bars I'm playing something with a similar feel but it's a different uh, it's a different lick what it really is is kind of a Travis picked version of a shuffle riff while I'm doing this this is my bass line And the second note, the, the, the second melody note I'm playing, is a sixth interval. So it's a sixth away from the, that E note I'm playing here. I'm doing the same thing on the four chord. So this is my root. My bass line again is this. So it's really one, five, one, six, one flat seventh. And I'm playing that sixth interval on top again. If you were to play that as a shuffle, it starts sounding suspiciously like a children's show theme song. 
that features a big bird. Now for the five chord, again I'm doing the exact same thing. It starts out with what looks a lot like an open E shape, only I'm not playing that middle octave of the root, because again I'm playing sixths. In the bass, there's my boogie pattern again, my shuffle. I'm playing a sixth interval on top, so it goes. And if I syncopate it, it goes. So it's. And, and there you go. 